Hey everyone and welcome back to another HitFilm Express video. Today I'm going to be going through the use of composite shots as templates in the new version of HitFilm 12. Today I'm going to give you a free title template. I'm also going to show you how the publishing of properties in composite shots works. I'm going to show you how to save composite shots on your PC for future use. Then I'm going to show you how to import composite shots as templates so that you can use these presets in any project you edit. And this applies with both composite shots that you've made and presets that other people have made, such as this example that I'll be showing you in this video that you can also download in the link in the description. But anyway, without any further ado, let's get into the video. Okay, first things first, let's go ahead and take a look at the project that I've got now. It's basically a five second 4K60 comp, and it's just a title template that looks like this. So it's pretty simple stuff. I really did just create this in about two seconds, but today I'm gonna to use this to show you all of the new publishing features of the new hit film. So let's go ahead and open up this comp, see what we've got here. We've got two layers. We've got a white background plane and we've got a text layer. The white background plane has motion blur on it. If we open up the transform, we have a bunch of position keyframes for it to move up and down again. And then in the effects panel, I've also got a fill color effect, which we can use to change the color of the plane if we want. I'll show you how this is gonna work with the publishing of the composite shot later. Then we've also got our text layer, our title. And it's just a pretty simple title really, except I've also got a text fill color if we want to change the color of this when we're publishing this which I'll show you later as well. We've got a set matte effect, which makes sure that it's only visible when our plane is there. Otherwise it would just stay there as you can see. And we've got a blur effect, just to make sure it's blurred at the beginning to kind of give a smoother transition. So that's what our composite is looking like. Pretty easy to create. And I will leave a link to this with published properties in the description below. But let's go ahead and let's publish those properties. So publishing properties in this new version of HitFilm essentially lets you change any of these properties in the composite shot inside the editing timeline. So let's go ahead and go to the editor and drag that same composite shot into the video editing timeline. Let's zoom in a bit, scroll through, you can see it's the same thing. And if we just go into the controls, you can see we can't adjust any of the controls of the composite shot. Let's go back uh, into the composite shot and let's start publishing some properties. Let's open up the white plane layer, for example. Let's open up the plane fill color and let's use this color property, right click and select publish. And now that will be published and we'll be able to edit it in the editor. Let's go to the editing timeline. You can see that nothing's really happened at the moment. That's cause we just kind of have to delete this and put it back in again for it to kind of refresh. But once we do under effects, we should have color and this correlates to the color of our plane. So for example, if we want to have a blue plane, then we can do that like so, and we can change that property in the editor without changing the actual property in the original composite shot. Let's go ahead and publish some more properties. So let's go ahead and open the text, open the effects. Let's open up the fill color of the text and publish that as well. And we can also publish stuff such as the radius of the text below these these animated properties, you can publish those as well. And say the position of the plane layer, we can do that as well. And let's just go ahead, delete that and refresh it like so. And you can see that all of these now appear in our editing timeline. What's really cool is that they've made it special for text layers as well. So let's go ahead and just select the whole text layer right here, right click, publish. And that won't publish everything about the text layer, but it will publish just the raw text input. So let's go ahead and delete this. And like we did before, let's refresh it. And now in, in the controls, we can see we have edit title. So we can edit the actual content of the text itself with the text tool here. And we won't be able to change, for example, the size or the font or anything like that, but we will be able to just change the actual text itself. All right, so now I've got that composite shot with all of the properties published. This is what I'm going to put into the link in the description so that you can download and follow along some of the next parts of this tutorial as well if you want to do that. Now that I've showed you how the publishing effect works, I'm going to show you how you can use this published composite shot template, well, as a template, and you can use it not just in this project, but in any project as well. You can import it as a template in any project. So let me show you how to do that. So let's go ahead and go into the media panel. 
As you can see, this composite shot has this icon here, which means it's a composite shot template. That means that it has published properties, basically. If any composite shot has published properties, it'll be converted into this kind of composite shot template, or it'll have this label on it. For example, if we create a blank composite shot like so, and just have nothing in there, you could have media in here, you could have anything, but if it doesn't have any published properties, it won't have that little icon. Say we want to save this composite shot to the desktop or to some place on our PC. Just right click on it and you would select save as and it would instantly go to the file locator. In the file explorer you could go to your folder and you can choose the name and you can click save and it will save it as a hit film composite shot as you can see here. Let's just click cancel for now. I'm actually just going to delete this because we don't need it at all. Let's go ahead and do right click save as on this however and you'll see that something is different. Because it's been labeled as a composite shot template, we now have to export it a bit differently. We still have this file name here, and this is basically our file explorer link as well. Just click on this directory button, browse save location, and you'll be able to save a name for it and a folder as well. And you can see that you'll have your same hit film composite shot export. So you can save whatever file location you want to there. Then you've also got options for a thumbnail because after all, this will be a template. So when you want to use this template in other projects, you'll see this thumbnail uh, as a preview. And we're also able to see all of our published properties here, all of those shown up here to show that it's a composite shot template. Once you've chosen your file location name and got all of the rest of these settings in order, just hit save and it will save it onto your PC. You've exported it now, but it hasn't really become a template that you can use in HitFilm now. To make it sure that it's a template back in HitFilm that you can use in any project, you have to re-import it into your project. Let's go ahead and delete everything here just to show you that we don't need any of this stuff anymore because we've saved that composite shot down. Let's go to import and just import media and then select the file of your composite shot that you just exported. Now I've imported that template and if we just drag it in, you can see that it's the exact same as it was before. It's that same composite shot file. And if we go into the controls, we can see that we can adjust those published properties as well. But silently in the background, while we imported that composite shot template with published properties into our project, HitFilm has made it into an installed template. So it's installed it into its library of templates. Let's go ahead and delete this from our project. And in fact, this could be any project. And say you want to use this template again. So you don't even know where the file is on your computer. So you don't have to go import and searching for the file. Instead, what you can do is just go import special media like so, and then go installed templates. As you can see here, we have a whole bunch of templates already done for us. HitFilm has made a bunch of these with version 12, and we've got that title template that we just installed into our installed templates. So what you can do with all of these templates is you can select any that you want. You can select one, or you can select multiple like so but we're just going to select that one that we edited before. And you can either import it as a composite or import it just normally. If you import it just normally, then it'll just import it and you will only be able to edit those published properties. If you import it as a comp, you'll be able to edit all of that stuff all over again in the comp, but it won't be as clean. But either way, I'm just gonna show you how to import it first, and then we might import it as a comp later. But let's go ahead and just click import for now. And you can see everything happened just as it did before. We've imported our template and we've still got those published properties which we can use. We can't double click and open it because we just imported it as a template. But for example, let's just delete this. Say in our project we imported it as a comp, then it would open it as a comp for us and it would give any assets that we need as well, such as this white plane. And we could edit all of this and we can also use this as a template in our editor as well. So if you want to follow along with this tutorial, what you can do is you can make any composite shot, try publishing properties yourself, exporting it, and then re-importing it into HitFilm to save it as an installed template. Or you can download this very title template, which I will leave a link for in the description. Then you can import that file, just like a HitFilm comp as I did earlier. And because it's a composite shot template with published properties, it should end up in your installed templates as well. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, make sure to hit the like button so that other people can find it, or of course, you can share it with them directly as well. I make tons of HitFilm editing tutorial videos like this, 
and tons of other just video editing tutorials in general. So if you're into that kind of stuff, then make sure to subscribe to the channel for more just like this. You can follow me on Twitter and I will see you in the next video. Stay shiny.